Hey, Kip, tell me where we are and what we see around us. Well, we're in the state of Guyana, Guy still. Uh, we was in uh, actually Monte Rosa de Sul earlier, and we crossed back into Guyana here. We're standing in the middle of a soybean field, actually 5,000 hectare soybean field, which is about 12,500 hectares. So pretty amazing. There's uh, five Massey combines set behind me, two big new Hollands. It's got 45 foot heads on them. We were following them across the field, and we just got a little rain shower and got rained out of the field. But holy cow, now Dave was taking a swath across the field. In this area, what kind of yields are they having? This particular farm here is running 62 to 65 bushels. Uh, you know, the beans right here are really, really good. I mean, these guys do an outstanding job farming. I mean, these beans are clean as a pen. And tell me, what will this field go into? You know, they're planting right back in corn back over here to my right, as you can see. You actually, you can't see because the camera's not on it, but there's three 34-row, 18-inch planters running across the field. They're all on GPS. One of the tractors has got two skip rows for the plant, uh, the sprayer to drive, and another two are coming in and filling in. But, but it's pretty impressive to see three big planters running and, and seven combines all in the same field. When they're double cropping corn after soybeans, what kind of hybrid selections and other considerations do they typically make? You know, they still plant a really full season hybrid. It's 130 to 140 day hybrids, and and uh, it's typically going to quit raining here sometime the end of May. And so they want that corn to be tasseled out. And believe it or not, you plant it today, this stuff's going to be tasseled out in 30 to 35 days and for planting, which is just totally unheard of in the U.S. Perfect. Hey, thank you, Kip. Thank you.